guys and sisters in Christ, welcome to the Daily Smith Together Father Devotional Podcast. My name is Victoria Iyog and I'm your host for this podcast. Thank you so much for joining us today. And without further ado, let us start with prayer. Father, Lord, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, we are about to study your word. As we study your word, may your Holy Spirit teach us and instruct us right now, Lord, in Jesus Christ's name. of today's teaching is ask largely of God. Ask largely of God. We are reading John chapter 7 verse 37 up to John chapter 8 verse 22 and we are reading from the New King James Version. On the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out saying, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me as the scripture has said, out of his heart there flowed rivers of living water. But this he spoke concerning the Spirit, whom those believing in him would receive, for the Holy Spirit was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. Therefore many from the crowd, when they heard this saying, said, Surely this is a prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But some said, With the Christ come out of Galilee, has not the scripture said that the Christ comes from the seed of David and from the town of Bethlehem, where David was. So there was a division among the people because of him. Now some of them wanted to take him, but no one laid hands on him. Then the officers came to the chief priests and Pharisees who said to them, Why have you not brought him? The officers answered, No one ever spoke like this word. Then the Pharisees answered, Are you also deceived? Have any of the rulers or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd that does not know the law is a curse. Nicodemus, he who is he who came to Jesus by night, being one of them, said to him, Does a law judge a man before it hears him and knows what he's doing? The answer that said to him, I also from Galilee search and look for and look for no prophet has arisen out of Galilee. And everyone went to his own house. But Jesus went to the Mount of Olives now early in the morning came again into the temple, and the people came to him, and he sat down and taught them. Then the scribes and Pharisees brought to him a woman caught in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in adultery in the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what do you say? This they say, testing him, that they might have something of which to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down and wrote on the ground with his finger, and still he did not hear. So when they continued asking him, raised himself up and said to them, He who is without sin among you, let him throw a stone at her first. And again he stood down and rode on the ground. And those who heard it, being convinced by their conscience, went out one by one, beginning with the oldest, even to the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had raised himself up and saw no one but the woman, he said to her, Woman, where does the Jesus of yours? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said to her, Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So as largely of God, our key verse for today is verse 8, verse 38 of John 7, which says, He who believes in me, as the scripture says, has said, Out of his heart will flow rivers of wind. There are a number of people today in the middle of the great river of life, but they are dying of thirst because they do not dip down and take from the river. Dear friend, you may have the word, but you need an awakened spirit. The word is not alive until it moved. It is moved upon by the spirit of God, and in the right sense, it becomes spirit and life when it is touched by His hand alone. This is by Smith Wigglesworth. Well. So we're talking about asking largely of God today. We're talking about asking largely of God. When you were a sinner, when you were not yet a Christian, you needed to receive the Lord Jesus into your life as your Lord and Savior. Now that you became a Christian, you need to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit if you've not yet received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. But once you've received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you have in you the Holy Spirit. Like, seriously. He is... 
the third person of the Trinity, because we see God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. He's your wonderful counselor, he's your comforter, he's the one who is counseling you, he's the one who does the miracles, who does the works, it's by his power, not by yours, but by the power of the Holy Spirit. In fact, Jesus paid the price for us to have life, and life in abundance. But why is it that so many people, they've received Jesus as the Lord and Savior. They've received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. But they are not walking in the power. They are not walking in the fruits of the Holy Spirit. It's like, to your life, you compare your life and the life of another Christian. And you see little to no difference. The only difference is that they go to church, they read the Bible, they fast from time to time. But there are no fruits. There is no power. There is no change. There is still a lifestyle of sin. There is no change. And many Christians wonder, like, why is my life not different? They wonder, they're like, what's going on? And the very important thing to know here is that it's a lot about knowing your identity in Christ, knowing what it means. Because as me to this, what said there, yeah. there are a number of people today who are in the middle of the great river of life, but they are dying of thirst because they do not dip down and take from the river. You may have the world. You may have the Holy Spirit living in you. But if you are not reading the word, surrendering to the Holy Spirit, you, you have your Bible in your pocket, like in your phone. Or you have your Bible on your bench or in your bag, but you're not reading it. How do you expect it to change you? Or you're reading it, but you're not asking the Holy Spirit to make you understand it or to reveal it to you. Or you're not trying to put it in practice. How do you expect it to bear fruits in your life? So you become a hearer of the world, but not a doer of the world. So you have all the resources. You have it all. Everything is available to you because Jesus paid the price for you to have all of it. Freedom from sin, uh, deliverance, healing, righteousness, purity, holiness. He paid the price for you to have everything, to walk in the path, to do the miracles, to set people free, to make disciples. But you're not experiencing it because you do not believe, because you do not put it in practice, because... It's just a theory for you, but it's not practice. You have to know that, first, if you've not yet received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you should ask God for real. He's ready to give it to you. He wants you to have the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Because without the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you live a weak and in, you will live in a weak and impoverished condition, which is no good to you or anybody else. If you are having results, they are not as much as you would with the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And if you're not having results at all, you believe the baptism of the Holy Spirit and surrendering completely to the Holy Spirit, you will have results. You will bear the fruits. There are so many things in your life that are going to change and the lives of others. Look at God's generals that we talk about. Look at Aura Roberts. Look at Catherine Coleman. Look at look at Smith Wigglesworth. Look at Lester Summer. Look at those people who like they devoted their lives to serving God. And people's lives were changed, people were healed, people were delivered, people's lives were transformed. People, two children who were dead were raised to life. And look at how people's lives were changed and helped because somebody surrendered completely to the Holy Spirit. You can be the next God general, God's general, you know. You can be the next God's general. You can be the next Our Roberts, the next Benny Hinn, the next... And I don't mean in terms of fame, I'm meaning in terms of the number of people that you serve. Because this thing is not for us to become famous. This thing like being a Christian, being a Christian who's baptized with the Holy Spirit, is not for us to become famous, it's for us to serve. Look at the number of people that Catherine Coleman served. The number of people that Aaron Roberts served. The number of people that Lester Summer served. Look at the story of Clarita Villanueva, who was in Philippines, Manila, who was possessed with devils, beaten by devils. She had, like, nobody could see them apart from her, and they were, burps. They were bites. Like, you could see that they, it was like an animal had beaten her all over her body, but nobody would see those things. They were demons, and she was only screaming. And God told Lester Summer to go and pray for her, and he was like, he was not really feeling like going, but God told him, if you don't go, nobody else will. So he went and he set her free. Look at one of the person whom he served. And after that, it created such a huge testimony and a huge revival in Manila, Philippines. 
because he served, look at the number of people that he was, he was able to serve after that. And even he was just bringing food to the needy, he served. The baptism of the Holy Spirit is not for us to become famous, but for us to serve and to make Jesus famous. If you went to see a doctor, the more you told him about yourself, the more he would know. But when you come to Dr. Jesus, he knows all from the beginning and he never prescribes the wrong medicine. Jesus sent his healing power and he brings restoring grace so there is nothing to fear. And through whom does he want to heal today? He, he, he said that as he in the world it's written as he is so are we in this world. He said the same works that I do, you're going to do the same and even greater. He wants us to be his arms and feet on this earth, his ambassadors, to be laying hands on the sick, to be setting people free, to be casting out devils. And he's already given us the power. That's the most interesting part. There's no new secret. You know, it's all in the Bible. Now we just have to surrender to him and serve people. Imagine clearing out hospitals because Christians stood up to whom they to who they are in Christ Jesus and decided we're gonna set people free. So ask gladly of God if you have ever if you've not yet received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, ask him and once you receive, believe that you've really received and start walking in the power. If you not even if you do not feel it, start doing the walks and you shall experience it. So let me end with this quote by Smith because what I will not settle for small things when I have such a big God. I will not settle for small things when I have such a big God. Let us pray. Father Lord God Almighty right now, I want to pray specifically for those who have not yet received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So right now I pray for believers who are listening to this who have not yet received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, the same Holy Spirit who raised Jesus Christ from the dead, I declare that you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit right now in Jesus Christ's name. Receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Amen. So thank you so much for joining us today and for listening from start to finish. Thank you for listening from the beginning to the end of this podcast episode. We, you know, we have one new podcast episode every single day by the grace of the Lord. So make sure to subscribe and tune in tomorrow by God's grace to listen to the next podcast episode. If you have prayer requests or questions or anything you need to discuss concerning the Bible or this podcast episode or any other podcast episode or the Smith Figures World Devotional in general or the Bible in general or any sin uh, which you are addicted to for which you need deliverance or healing if you need prayer for sickness and disease if you need healing even in terms of your finances if you need prayer you can always contact me on Instagram Dr. Victoria Eok you can contact me on Instagram with your prayer requests with your questions with your like anything that you need which is concerning the Bible by the grace of God and the power of the Holy Spirit we're gonna solve it so I'm expecting to hear from you soon and God bless you bye bye